let me practice how I'm going to fight sitting down when one of my subscribers run up on me and ask me where my video's been at for four weeks. <laughs> with some videos and y'all already know what time it is it's gonna be a little story time i know y'all ain't seen me in a couple of weeks y'all i'm so sorry girl i'm so sorry oh my god why is my lash like my lash like it's going up what's going is that what or is this one down i don't know but something not right yeah, my body's really just trying to get used to these hormones y'all i'm not even gonna lie like it's been a journey and i do want to do more videos about like hormone journey why i'm transitioning everything because I feel like y'all deserve to know. Because it's like we're family. Bitch, we, we're friends. Bitch, we talk all the goddamn time. We got to keep y'all in the loop. So, I'm definitely going to have a video like that coming soon. Um, I was spending a lot of time, you know, with myself. Girl, I was chilling the other day. And I was thinking like, damn, I ain't did a video in four weeks. Yikes, bitch. You can't be going missing like that. So, I got my little pen and piece of paper. And I wrote some videos down. Because I be asking y'all to send me videos. Bitch, y'all be acting like y'all can't do that. So I wrote down some ideas. I got a ton of story times I want to tell y'all. Topic story. Come on, bitch. Talk right. I got tons of story times I want to give. Topics I want to give on videos. So stay tuned. I got a lot of videos coming. I want to try to get into my makeup looks more. Oh, peep the nails. We got a new nail. Got a new set. Got a new set. Look at my set. Look at my set. Um, I definitely want to get into doing more like, um, more makeup looks. I did a cut crease today. I don't know if y'all can tell. I did a cut crease. Um, real simple. I'm trying to get into like makeup more. I don't know. Like people tell me I'm good, but I want to be great. Like I'm trying to be makeup status. You know what I'm saying? And I almost forgot my wine. So y'all know like I have to have my wine for all my story times. I'm not an alcoholic. I promise. Okay. So today's story time is going to be about clubbing you know i was clubbing so much i was clubbing so much in college i was like having a motherfucking ball okay and this is not one in college this is like one of those recent story times and i kind of want to start a series on my channel where i talk about my club experiences as a trans girl or as a fanboy because i was a fanboy at the time like and now that i'm trans i'm out here clubbing it's it's pretty much the same vibe. So I feel like you can relate to what I'm telling you if you're fam, if you're trans. And if you're not fam and you're not trans, you just kind of want to live the life and know what we go through, this is the place to do it. So, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if y'all want more stories like this. So I think I got like three stories I'm going to give. And I'm, I'm going to try to insert pictures of what I'm wearing and where I was at. And, you know, just a whole, like, boom, boom, shabam. So, y'all know exactly what the hell was going on when it was going on. So, let's talk about the first club experience that I had. So, this happened when I was in Atlanta. I was on a trip to Atlanta. I was turning up. I was geeked. I mean, I was giving very much the safari in the goddamn jungle. I know y'all remember this. If you only seen this picture on Instagram, it's right here. Baby, I was giving the girls a run for their money. I had the slick back ponytail and the damn cheetah dress, baby. I was the motherfucking cheetah girl, okay? So, we went to the club. First of all, we went to this club in Atlanta. It was called, I think the club was called, oh my God, what's the name of the club? We was in Atlanta, but we was in this club called, what was it called? Damn, I can't think of the name for shit. It's downtown. It's kind of like a mixed crowd. It's not a gay club, but it's a mixed crowd. Like, And that's one thing about me. I don't mind going to straight clubs. I actually enjoy going to straight clubs more than I like going to gay clubs. I know that's probably like, really, bitch? And like, really, that's how you do? But it's like, I feel like I get the most love. I get the most treatment at the straight club. Like, if you know, you know, bitch. I get free drinks. I get in free discounts. Like, girl, it, it's like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Versus when I go to the gay club, girl, I be having to pay girl prices just to get in like they be like oh no that's fish no i'm not even fish girl i'm i'm i'm, I'm pretending i thought i was what well, i thought i was gonna pay the, as a boy they're like no you a girl and you're gonna pay the 20 dollars to get in so when we get there it's a bouncer on the side of the building so we ask him like hey we not from here like where can we park he was like oh yeah y'all can park around the corner he was like how many is it y'all we was like it's four of us at the time it was me shantanae danielle and rock so we, you know, we look at cute. Of course, it's her birthday. I think y'all remember the vlog when I, this is like from the vlog when I was in Atlanta. So he like, look, 
I'm gonna give y'all a discount. If y'all give me $60 right now, I'll give all y'all. I think we pay him like $20 a piece. We all, I think we only pay him like $20, but we got like VIP passes, so we didn't have to stand in line or nothing like that. And we explained to him it was her birthday. Yeah, yeah, woo. So when we got our passes, girl, we thought we was the bitches. I mean, let me tell you, if you ain't never been to the club and pay VIP and just walk past the line, you don't know the feeling I'm talking about. Like, that feeling is no other. Like, when you walk through, I mean, y'all remember how Nala was walking through the motherfucking hyenas and fucking Lion King? That's how I was feeling. Like, bitches was very much giving, mm -hmm. So, we walk through the line or whatever we get in the club. Club is packed. Now, this is actually, was this COVID? Was COVID going on? COVID was most definitely going on, and we definitely did not have on a man. And before I continue with the story, one thing I want to tell you guys, if you guys are clubbing, because I know COVID is really fucking shit up, but if you're still if you're still clubbing, wear your mask, wear, you know, use your hand sanitizer, you know, practice as much social, social distancing as you can. And, you know, if you're a femme or you're a trans or you're one of the girls, be careful out here because... At the end of the day, people are crazy. And you know what I'm saying? I hate to hear news that a trans woman has died, uh, a femme boy, or, you know, a gay person in general. I hate to hear young people dying in general. But it just really is different when I hear it's gay people and, you know, it's our family, a gay family. I heard dying just because we're living in our life and we're expressing ourselves the way we should. And people can't cope with that. People can't handle that. People can't respect what I'm putting out. You feel me? Anyway, moving on with the story. So, anyway, I'm lit. I'm lit, girl. Now, mind you, we pre-game before we went, so we already told the hell up when we walked through the door. We walked through the door, club packed. I mean, you know, it's giving very much damn Jersey Shore energy because this crowd was like a mixed crowd. Like, it was black people, it was white people, it was gay people, it was straight people. And I wish I knew the name so I could put y'all on because it's a really good club to go to. Like, the music was good. Everything was great. So when we got there, right, we had um, the VIP passes. So we got to sit in like the VIP area. We didn't have to be on like the actual dance floor. I've actually been to this club more than once. And I'll tell y'all in the second part of the story, what happened the second time I went to that club and I was not VIP. Both times, somebody ended up fingering me. Like, not what you think. Not like, okay, maybe fingering me is a little like, uh, too, like a push. But somebody, just listen to the story, girl. Just listen to the motherfucking story. So, I get there, you know what I'm saying? We got a little VIP passes or whatever. We go straight to the VIP bar because it's two bars. It's a bar in the back for everybody else and it's a bar for the VIP group. So, we go to the VIP group, you know what I'm saying? We in the bars or whatever. Then, in the VIP area, there's booths. Now, we didn't have a booth, but we had an area, if that makes sense. My friend Danielle had never been to Atlanta. So, I, I was like, girl, when you come to Atlanta, like, baby... Like, everybody look like they got money. Y'all, why does this washing machine be going off the way it do? I don't understand. I don't know if the axle is damn out of sync or something, but this shit just be banging around clothes, and it's just unrealistic. So, if y'all hit a dryer and washing machine, I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. Anyway, moving on. So, I was telling her, like, girl, you know, niggas act like they got money, look like they got money, but they really ain't got no money in Atlanta, right, baby? Atlanta is filled with, a got a, like, a lot of pretend. A lot of pretend motherfuckers. Like, if you just want to go and pretend like you're somebody you're not, go to Atlanta. And my friend walking through, me and my friend walking through, it's this tall, big, black dude. He looking at me like, I'm golden corral, baby. Like, I'm a three-piece meal. He looking at me like, I'm a four for four special. Like, <laughs> breast, wings, and thighs. Like, I'm like, what? So, you know, I had like I ain't see him when I walked past the first time. But the second time, he really trying to make himself be known. And so he tried to grab me like, hey, what's your name? What's your name? I tell him my name or whatever. Mind you, when I go out, I tell people my name Christina because Christina just rolls off the tongue a little bit better. So I'm like, my name Christina. He like, yeah, you and your friend, y'all beautiful. Y'all should come to my section, come to my section. I was like, we're not going to come to the section, but you can give us a drink. So he gives us a drink. We take the drink. We move on. Girl Code 101. If you're going to get anything from a dude, before you get a number, conversation, any of that other shit, get a drink. And make sure you see him pour the drink. Or make sure the drink come from the bar. But get you a drink to, you know, keep the keep the night flowing for you. All get up, your hair done, your makeup done, your nails done, your outfit cute. You spend all this money. The least you can goddamn do 
is get a bitch a drink. Hello? So I get the drink from home, whatever. We take the drink. I'm on about my business. We go back to the um all those section, girl. We listen to music, we turn it up, we dance, we twerking and everything. Now mind you, it was a security guard there who checked us at the door and also gave us the hookup, right? Right, okay. So he's in our set, he's in the little section we're at, you know, standing there, just make sure everything cool. We're turning up, we're twerking. It was a very peaceful environment because if this one thing I don't like is when I'm living my life, enjoying my life, twerking, living my very, you know, flamboyant butterfly life. And somebody come behind me and want to back that ass up. Like if I'm dancing to genuine, back that ass up. You gonna let me back that ass up by myself. I, unless I put this thing on you, don't invite yourself to the party, okay? So I'm twerking or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, you know, we all good. My friends, they got the camera on me. I'm going to insert the video if I can find the video of me twerking. So I'm twerking, having me a good time, girl. I'm having me a great time. As I'm twerking, I feel something tickling my thighs. I'm like, mm, what? What is that? You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking it's one of my friends, you know, like, you know how when you twerking, they be like, hey, hey, like smacking the bottom of your butt. So I thought it was one of my friends, like, you know, smacking the bottom, the back of my butt while I was twerking. Nay, 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 that's not what was happening. So once I, you know, as I'm twerking, enjoying myself, you know, basking in the ambulance <laughs> or whatever you, or what may have you, however you say this shit. I realize the gropes are not like, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, hey. it's more like a. So I'm like, I look back, girl, tell me why it's the goddamn security guard with his hand like this. He got his back turned to us. His hand is like this. As I'm twerking. Hand up my dress. Now, at this time when he did it, he did it so slick because I believe a twerk song was playing and all of my friends was bust down. Danielle was bust down. Shantanae was bust down. Rob was bust down. Everybody was twerking. I look back. We make eye contact. He like, yeah. I'm figuring a little cootie. I'm like... <laughs> Sir, what the fuck? So I'm the whole time you think them lips, but those are false. Like, what do you do? What do you assault? Rape. I'm it's it's, it's giving rape. It's giving very much rape. I didn't ask for this. And moving on to the second story. Same club, but let me set the move. This was my friend's birthday, my other friend's birthday, Jinza. Girl, miss you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. We went to the club and we turned up for her birthday. Now, mind you, I'm going to keep it cute. Because, girl, yeah. Uh, we was coming to turn up. We was coming to turn up. Her cousins couldn't get in because they weren't of age. So, it was just me and her and we was by ourselves. So, we was like, you know what? Girl, we're going to make the best of your night. It's your birthday. We're not going to just go out. We're not going to like let this night flop like because everybody ain't go. We're going to just have fun and we're going to get so up. So, it's just me and her. And, you know... I always think going out to the club is always funner when you with a group of people. But I was like, fuck it. Like, it's just a two. Like, we, we here now. Like, we paid $60 to get in. We finna have the time of our life. So, we turn on. We turn on, girl. We drunk. We're drunk. I think I told this story before on this channel, but I'm not sure. But anyway. So, but I be having to leave bits and pieces out because... I don't be wanting everybody in my business, but I'm going to tell you this part anyway. So, we in a party, right? We in a party. We turning up. We turning up. We in a club. It's lit. This time, I did not have VIP. I was in a regular section. But, they have, like, little booths that you can rent out. But, the particular booth that I was standing in, nobody bought. So, it was just a bunch of people who paid regular admission was standing and sitting on the booth. Girl, I was so drunk in this picture, but y'all get the point. This was me, child. So, at this time, I think I have on a dress. I got on a dress. Now, I love dresses. When I was young, it's crazy that I wear dresses now because when I was younger, I used to think I would look so weird in a dress. Now, I can't stop wearing dresses. Anyway, I had on a dress. So, I'm standing on, um, so me and my friend, we standing on the couch. We live. We sit on the couch. We, I'm standing holding on to her. So she don't fall. She holding on to me, so I don't fall. Thanks for me having fun, girl. I did one of these. Like, I almost fell, but I didn't really fall. 
So behind me was a guy sitting down. Kind of like older guy. I wasn't really paying him no attention. I can't even tell y'all what he looked like, y'all. I was so up. But older guy, same club, mind you. In Atlanta. I'm going to get it in this booth. But I did a uh, ooh, I stumbled. I didn't fall. I'll never fall. I may trip. I may stumble, but I'll never fall. So, girl, I ain't like fell back a little bit. Girl, um, this guy, tall ass, big black majunka. Like, he looked like he was straight out of goddamn Jamaica, Africa. Like, very strong African king. Like, big as hell, girl. He catches me with one hand like my ass was a basketball. Literally, one hand. When he catches me, his hand is so big. It's my, like his hand covered my whole ass. Mind y'all, I don't got no big ass dump truck. I got a little itty bitty booty. But, girl, that was a big ass hand. So, he caught my hand like this. His thumb... Is damn near penetrating me. So I'm like, ooh. So when I try to catch myself, he takes my he takes his other hand and grabs my leg like, oh, you got it? You good? So I'm like, I'm good. So I'm like standing up straight. Mind you, my friend still, I'm standing on the table fully like she's still going in. Girl, I stand up straight. I'm good now. I got my balance. I'm not finna fall. Why do I feel a groping going on on what you think is a cooter? But it's really pause. So I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, same club, same vibe? Does this happen to girls? Is this what girls go through? Like, no, nah, ma'am. When your niggas ain't shit, you go out with your girls. And let me tell you something, you have a great motherfucking time. You have a great, what happens to the club stays in the motherfucking club. So, this last club experience I'm going to tell y'all about gave me a life lesson on why you should just read all the motherfucking signs. So, girl, I go to the club with my ex. This is an old story time, but I feel like, why not tell it? The subject is clubs. If y'all want more videos like this, I am bringing the heat to y'all. So, I'm in the club, right? Now, mind y'all, this is the gay club. Remember when I told y'all I had to pay $20 to get in because I was a girl? Yeah, this was the club. Bulldogs in Atlanta. If you ain't never been to Bulldogs in Atlanta, child, get out. Walking with my ex girl, and little did I know. So first of all, I didn't think I was that girl. Like I, I like to, I like to think I'm that girl. And when I come in, be to sit up straight. You know what I'm saying? How time when I was coming to the club, everybody looking at me like I'm side. Everybody side eyeing me. Everybody wanna got beef with me because whole time my ex don't fuck the entire club. Now I don't let 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 me just say this. It could be the wine talking, but me and my ex was in a long distance relationship. He lived in Atlanta. I lived in North Carolina. When I would come to North Carolina, we would go out to the club. When we come out to the club, everybody used to be side eyeing me like I'm the villain, like I'm the bad guy. And I used to be like, why is everybody giving me all this negative energy? Why is bitches bumping me in the club? That's because your boyfriend done fucked half to the club. And now nobody know about you because they ain't know. And now they mad because they want him. And then they, they like, who is this bitch? So anyway, back to the story. So I'm walking through the crowd or whatever. And this one particular night, I was looking extra scumdily. Um, makeup was good. My outfit was body in. I was looking real damn good. So, I'm in a club. This is bitch. This big Matumbo light-skinned goddamn quarterback-ass girl. She damn runs. She damn rushes past me. Damn near knocks my motherfucking shoulder off my goddamn body. So, I'm like, yo, like, what's the problem? So, I'm drunk. So, when I'm drunk, I, my mouth be like, yo, what the fuck? Watch where you going. Like, what the fuck? So, my ex, like, you know, rubbing on me like, nah, calm down, babe. Calm down. That nigga ain't about you. That nigga shit. How time, that was somebody that you used to be messing with and you was doing it with. And they was mad because they sent me in the club with you because they wanted a relationship with you. But you didn't give them a relationship because you was really with me the whole time. Niggas ain't shit. I swear to God. So, anyway, he bumped past me. And then he was like, you know, my ex was trying to tell me in the club, like, he got a gun, he got a gun, I know him, he ghetto, he ghetto. And all the time, in the back of my mind, I'm just thinking, like, well, how do you know him? Like, if we've been together for, what, four years, and you just moved out here a year ago? Like, how the fuck do you know him? So, anyway, yeah, that's neither here nor there. So, child, that's not what the story's about. The story's about this duck ass, and you know, I don't like to talk about nobody. But this story makes me so mad every time I think about it, because it's like, why would you... 
Like, why would you? So, anyway, I'm in the club, right? You know, I'm on the dance floor, baby. That's one thing I love to do is be on the dance floor. This was also before COVID. So, I'm on the dance floor, girl. I'm dancing my little life away. I'm cute. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Like, bitch, I'm getting me, okay? So, I'm in the club living my life or whatever. It's this little... And I smile, this bitch had on Roche runs in a club. If you got on Roche runs and Adidas joggers in a club, bitch, you can't even really compete where you don't compare. Because, bitch, I'm giving you very much everything it needs to give. And you was giving Roche runs, a crop top, and some Adidas joggers with a jacket tied around your waist. Bitch, go to sleep. So, me in there, and I noticed that it's like I'm dancing on the dance floor. Mind you, I don't always like to dance on my nigga. When I go to the club with my boyfriend or I go with some people, like, I like to dance by myself. Like, bitch, I get down. I can dance, okay? So, when I dance, I like to dance by myself. Sometimes I like to, you know, be a solo star. I don't like to, you know, always be on somebody. So, I'm dancing or whatever, and as I'm dancing, I'm realizing it's somebody, it's this boy. I'm going to call him, I don't even know what to call him, little Adidas. I'm gonna call him Adidas because that's all I can think about is the damn Adidas pants. It's twerking like dangerously close to me. Like I'm twerking right here and you twerking beside me like it's some type of battle. So I'm like, whole time in my mind, I'm not really understanding why like this boy is like, it's like you're trying to battle me. So in the middle of my club, my this boy was like, yeah, I, I used to mess with him. I used to talk to him again. How did you used to talk to him? How did you used to mess with him? If you only been living here for so long. But he made it seem like it was somebody he was talking to before us. But then once I did the add and math subtraction division, I realized, no, bitch. This was one of them damn college students that's down here for school that you done messed with. And now they won't beef with me. And, bitch, I don't know. I don't even know these people. I'm from out of town. Like, what are you saying? So, you trying to battle me. I'm dancing. You trying to dance all close to me. Your raggedy little friend was trying to hype you up, but it was not working. And I'm just like, you know what? This what you want to do? You want to battle? So, I started battling that baby. I started getting down on my hands, knees, and motherfucking toes, buckling, grabbing them damn ankles, moving that ass like it was the motherfucking last day. Like, in my life, depended on it. Then I really made you mad because I was dancing on a nigga that you wanted the whole time. Because guess what? You know what? And that's what I think about all the time. That's what I think about. I know this video is all over the place, but this is what I think about all the time. Regardless on how much my ex was cheating, y'all knew who had it on lock. Y'all knew who had on lock. Because he knew to do that sneaky shit when I wasn't in town. He knew to do that shit when I wasn't around. He knew to do that shit when I wasn't around. He knew to do that shit under the table because he knew if I would have ever found out. Gone. But once I did find out, of course I left because I was like, mm, who wants to be with that? That's corny. Anyway, but my whole thing was with that situation, it was just like he was trying to bust down so hard but was not working. Like, bitch, when you had on the rush, you might fall. You already lost when you came in the club with the rock shape running the phone. You wasn't expecting to see a man bitch come through the door. That's all it was. That's all it was. So, that's why I got trauma from going out with dudes. Because I thought, I don't want to know who you used to mess with. I don't want to know. I don't know. I don't I don't want to know. I don't really care. You know, out of sight, out of mind. Just leave me out of it. Period. All right, y'all, that's enough of that, okay? If y'all like this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. More videos like this to come. I got definitely some more story times I want to tell y'all. But if y'all like the club story times, y'all want more detailed club story times with screenshots and videos and stuff like that, I can tell y'all what happened. I would love, 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 love to give y'all that because I got a lot of club stories. Let me know if y'all want more videos like this. Mwah, I love y'all. I'm out. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and all that good stuff. You never know. I just might follow you back. <laughs> Brought my hips and make it wiggle, 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 make it wiggle.